The purpose that human beings come together cannot be reduced to one purpose. There's nothing that says, for instance, that the purpose of marriage is procreation. Even though you'll find that, I think it's a misguided statement in, in books on Islam, because that is not the primary purpose. The primary purpose is actually tahsin al-farj. It's to protect yourself by finding a tranquility in another person so that you don't become bestial. So it's actually a civilizing force. Marriage is part of the civilizing process. It's the way people become more human. And Allah says later in that same section, He says, And if they should separate, God will enrich each one of them from His bounty. That sometimes it's necessary to divorce. Let not a believing man despise a believing woman. If he dislikes one quality, he should love other qualities. In other words, focus on the positive. But sometimes you have to separate. You have to go your separate ways because not everybody is compatible. Not everybody has sakina. Not everybody has mawadda, has this unconditional love. Not everybody has mercy. This is part of, of human nature. But the one thing that God does not allow is oppression. Ya ibadi. Oh, my servant, I have prohibited oppression upon myself. Out of his bounty, God can do whatever he pleases. I have prohibited oppression from my own self, and I have made it prohibited amongst you, so do not oppress one another. But if people are in a situation where they can't get along, they have to let go. This is Islam. Islam is a mercy. We've got all these people out there just really suffering like they're in hell. And some people making religion a hell for the women. Wallahi, we have imams on the minbars preaching this stuff. I've heard pre preachers say, Wallahi, I've heard people say, oh, there's some women, the only thing that benefits is striking. But to say that you can strike a woman physically and harm her, leave some trace on her, that's not Islam, it's jahiliya. It's jahiliya. And there's people that do these things. And these poor women have to suffer the humiliation. Ibn Ashur in his tafsir says, and I believe this, he says it is absolutely acceptable for the authorities in charge to prescribe a punishment, to prescribe a punishment for any act of domestic violence. And he says, when men are no longer vigilant about controlling themselves, when he said, when they use this verse as a means to express their anger, their rage, and their vengeance on a woman, then he says, it's the time for the authorities to come in. And that's why any woman who's suffering domestic abuse has every right to go to the proper authority. If the Muslims won't help her, then she can go to the police or anybody else. Because nobody, nobody walking on two feet, not even an animal on four feet or crawling on the earth, should ever be humiliated, should ever be tortured, should ever be struck violently. This is a major problem in our community. We need to think deeply. Al Mu'minun, Ba'duhumu, Al Mu'minun, wa Al Mu'minat, Ba'duhumu, Awliya, U Ba'd. The believing men and women protect one another. Protect one another. That's what wilaya is. You protect each other. That's the believing men and believing women.